Hi everyone, Google Bard has been updated and probably this is the biggest update since its release. Now you can integrate all your Google apps like YouTube, Gmail, Google Drive, Google Maps, everything into your Google Bard account. Let's check it out. You have to go to bard.google.com and you land on this page. And the new feature here is the extensions. If you click here, these are the extensions it is providing Google Flights, Hotels, Maps, YouTube and Google Workspace which contains Gmail, Google Drive, Google Docs, everything. So now all the extensions have been enabled with my Google Bard account. Now in a new chat, I can ask like what is the latest email from UI path in my Gmail. So now it is accessing uh, Google Workspace and from my Gmail account, this is what it has fetched. You can see the subject, date, sender, UI path, and these are all the emails from UI path. You can see the latest email is this one, which has come on 14th September 2023. You can directly click here and go to the email. And you can see this is the email that has come on 14th September. Let us verify it. Let us go to the Gmail account. And we can see the latest email from UI path is this one which has come on 14th September. There is no other latest email from UiPath we can check here. So probably if you have a very large email inbox then it is difficult to search manually. So in that case it will be very helpful you can ask Google Bard and it will fetch you the latest email from your mailbox. Now further we can ask here please summarize the latest email in five bullet points. And it says the latest email from UiPath announces the following new features and it has given four bullet points. So basically this email is very small one. It contains, it only contains three bullet points. So it has summarized in four bullet points. So this is how it helps in summarizing the latest email or anything you ask. Next, you can search YouTube videos directly in Google Bard. So here you can see it says mention a specific extension. Quickly select from your available extensions by using at the rate symbol. So if you type here at the rate, then it gives you all the extensions of uh, Google Bard that is uh, Gmail, Google Docs, Google Drive and till YouTube. Let's select YouTube and I'll search a video like French revolution in Hindi. I am searching videos related to French revolution in Hindi and it is directly going to YouTube and it is searching for the videos and these are the videos it has fetched. We can see the first video that is uh, the French revolution in Hindi by Dhruv Rathi and also these are the other videos. So like this very quickly you can directly access YouTube from your Google Bard. Now out of these apps uh, now let's select Google Flights and I will ask what is the cheapest flight from Pune to Delhi on first October 2023. So I am searching for flights. What is the cheapest flight from Pune to Delhi on 1st October 2023? And now you can see it is directly accessing Google Flights. So here it says Bard doesn't always get it right. Be sure to check the following flight details. So it has tried to fetch the flight details according to our requirement and it says the cheapest flight from Pune to Delhi on 1st October that is by Air India priced 9,845 rupees. And you can see it has given a list of flights and this one seems uh, the cheapest one and not only that it has also given the links to book the flight so if we click here it will directly take us to the page where we can book our flight and we can see here uh, this is the flight it uh, recommended but there are also cheaper flights available so like this you can cross check every time because every time it may not be 100% accurate so this is all about the integration of uh, different google apps with google bar now let's now let's check another feature so as we talked about double checking the facts it provides google also google bar also provides a feature called double check let's go to a new chat here i'll search some great facts about venus planet okay so here are some great facts about the planet venus and as you can see here, it says double check Bard's response. This button helps you assess Bard's responses by using Google search to find content that's slightly similar or different. So this is the button double check response. Let's click here and it is processing evaluating Bard's statements and yeah. Now right away you can double check all the response, all the facts it has provided. That you, you can see now the facts are converted into green color and now to check and now to double check each of the statement we can click on it and it will take us to the link from where it has taken the information so we can double check. So let's click here and it will take us 
to this page so basically this is a page from nasa and the first point says venus is the second planet from the sun and earth's closest planetary neighbor and this information has been taken from this web page so now we can double check the information and also we can check few more few more facts from this web page so for each of the statement there is a link which takes us to the source of the information this one says a day on venus lasts 243 earth days while a year on venus lasts only 225 earth days if we click here it takes us to another page of nasa and you can see here the information is right here in this web page and from here it has taken uh, into our bars response so what the ai chatbot does is it collects the information from different sources and it summarizes and it presents to our chat okay so now let's ask something more creative let's go to a new chat and here i'll ask please provide me indian diet under 1400 calorie in a day okay so it says here is an example of a 1400 calorie indian diet plan and this is the diet plan it has provided now you can also share this response click on share now we can create a public link and this response we can share in linkedin facebook twitter or or we can copy this link and send it to someone else so that that person can take this link of this conversation and start the conversation from there so this is the conversation we are having right now and uh, we have created the public link and i'll share this link to my friend and he can open this conversation and he can start his own the conversation from where i have left so i have copied the link and let me open that link in a new browser i'll paste it here and hit the link you can see it is opening in google bar and it says continue where they left off and it shows the title that that question which we had asked like please provide me indian diet under 1400 calorie in a day this is the link and this is the conversation you can listen to this response here is an example of a 1400 calorie indian diet plan breakfast one cup of oat okay so i'll click on this continue this chat so now in this new account this conversation has uh, started so this conversation is in english and if we want we can change the language as well now let me ask in hindi so based on this conversation i'll ask something like this provides some non vegetarian food so i'll ask here mujhe sirf veg food chahiye and let's press enter and let's see what it responds Okay so as you can see it has converted into hindi but it still provides some non vegetarian food so i'll ask here is my chicken we hai mujhe sirf vegetarian food chahiye now the text is in uh, hindi if you want it in english then uh, in bracket just provide in english and let's press enter okay so now it has converted into english and we can see here i understand that you are looking for a vegetarian indian diet plan here is a modified version of the plan and now it has removed the non vegetarian food. food and it gives only the vegetarian food so it says one cup of salad with grilled paneer or tofu so it has removed the chicken so this is how it gives us diet plan as per our requirement here we saw how we can create a public link of our chat and we can share it with others and uh, that person can open this in his or her account and start the conversation from where we have left off also from the middle you can switch to some other language and it will respond without any issue now it brings us to our next feature that is not only you can chat with the text format you can also chat with some images let's go to a new chat and here you can see upload image and let me just select this image this is the indian flag and i'll give the prompt here please write a blog about this image we have provided the indian flag image and we are asking please write a blog about this image and it says the indian flag a symbol of freedom and unity and this is the blog it has generated so simply with an image we can generate our content like like a blog here now on the same conversation we can ask like please write a poem about it in hindi and this is the poem it has generated about the indian flag in hindi we can copy it from here so these are the new features uh, those are introduced to google bard recently that is in this month september and without any doubt we can say it's a great update and it has become more sophisticated and more user friendly and we can definitely say this is ahead of so many other ai chatbots so hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new today and for more ai related videos about different ai features different ai tools don't forget to click on this playlist and thank you very much i'll see you in my next video